Hi guys, so I have Carrie Benjamin with me here today. She's from Stacked Skincare. Thanks for being here, Carrie. Thanks for inviting me. Uh, I came across Carrie on YouTube. I actually watched a video about derma planing, and it is something I did not know about. And I feel like derma planing is like the new kind of rage. Like I hear about it all the time, and you're an expert. So I invited you to come to my studio to give us a little bit of a rundown what it's all about. Uh, derma planing is one of my favorite skincare topics, so mm -hmm. I'm excited to chat with you about it today and share it with your audience. That's amazing. So what is derma planing? Like, is it like you take a razor and you <laughs> cut off your little hair fuzzies or <laughs> what do you do? Well, kind of, not really. So yeah. uh, derma planing is going to take a sharp blade mm -hmm. and it's going to, it's basically one of the best ways you can exfoliate your skin. Yeah. And it also obviously is going to remove the peach fuzz. Yeah. Um, so it instantly is going to brighten and smooth your skin out. It's really great to do um, for a better makeup application. Yeah. And it's also really great for skincare because it's going to allow your products to penetrate better. Like I would love to send one of my clients to you before like a big red carpet event the night before because I can just imagine. I mean, I have never had it done before, but I've now kind of investigated in it and like seen what it looks like. And I think just for me, the thought of applying makeup over somebody who had it done must be really really nice because the skin is so smooth yep. and the texture is probably really like smooth and perfect so foundation will probably grab differently mm -hmm. so I'm super excited that you will show us today so in my um, studio I use a 10 blade scalpel and we also designed a basically a professional grade tool that you can use at home and get very similar results and the 10 blade scalpel looks like this it comes in a disinfectant bag And it looks kind of scary, but I know what I'm doing. I wouldn't recommend you do this at home on your own, though. Um, so here's a Whoa, scalpel. Whoa, you could really hurt me with this one. <laughs> um, and so what you're going to do is little tiny... So first you cleanse your skin, and you want the skin super dry, whether you're in a professional setting or if you're going to use the home tool, which this is our tool that you would use for home. And the reason you want your skin dry is you're going to get the most amount of dead skin and peach fuzz up. Mm -hmm. So first, normally we would cleanse the skin and dry it, and then um, typically in a in a professional setting, uh, my clients would be laying down on the massage table, and I would do light feather strokes up. Um, mm -hmm. And when we um, when we do it at home with our tool, I find that it's best to go in a downward motion. motion. Okay, all right. So maybe we're gonna demonstrate now and show you guys how to do this. So are there any like misconceptions about uh, dermaplaning? Like do people think like uh, does the hair grow back faster or darker or what is your experience in that? So there are quite a few misconceptions about dermaplaning and they're myths. Mm -hmm. um, one of the biggest ones that I hear a lot is that your hair is going to grow back thicker or darker and it's just simply not true. Yeah. It's physiologically not possible for your uh -huh. hair to grow back thicker or darker. And um, what does happen though is hair grows back at a blunt edge. Mm -hmm. So if you're touching your face a lot, which mm -hmm. I recommend not doing, mm -hmm. um, but if you are touching your face a lot, you might feel the hair growth coming back in and mm -hmm. that's why you might feel like it's thicker. But if you just simply leave it alone and give it a few days, it will grow back exactly the same way it was. Mm -hmm. It's the hair on our face is called baby hair. It's, ve mm -hmm. it's vellus hair is what it's mm -hmm. technically mm -hmm. called. And it will grow back exactly the same way and at the same rate. Um, the other uh, myth is that your hair is going to grow back darker and again not physiologically possible yeah. simply shaving off the dead skin and um, the hair is not going to to change it but one reason why I think a lot of people have this um, misperception is yeah. women with darker skin tend to have a little bit darker hair on their face mm -hmm. and they don't actually realize that and so if they get dermaplaning done for the first time their skin is a lot brighter mm -hmm. and then when their hair grows back to them, they think their hair is darker mm -hmm. because they never really noticed that they had darker hair. Because they've to begin never with. done it before. Do you that know makes what I'm total saying? Sense. So I think that's um, a lot of reason why sometimes people um, believe that myth. Yeah. Um, and so, how often is it? Like once a month, or is it like shaving your legs? You do it every single day, or like how often would I have to do that if I start doing that procedure on myself? So really, it's kind of up to you. I mean, I I use our home care tool mm -hmm. weekly. Um, it's, it's really one of the best ways you can exfoliate your skin yeah. and it's great for removing peach fuzz, yeah. but I 
I look at it more as an exfoliation technique, more so than a hair removal, but it does both. And okay. it's it's pain-free. Mm-hmm. You can do it at home now, so yeah. it's, it's not expensive. Right. Um, but so it's kind of a personal preference. You could go monthly, you know, to get yeah. it done professionally. Some people come every three weeks. Yeah. Um, so it's really a personal preference um, for you. If you decide you don't like it at all, which I don't understand that, but yeah. if you do, you don't ever have to do it again. Yeah. And, you know, your skin will be, your skin, your skin will go back and your hair will grow back exactly the same way. Well, I'm so excited. I'm going to try it out now. So I think we should maybe try to do one side the professional way and then maybe the other side I try on my own. Perfect. Great. So you're going to do this on me now? I am. I'm excited to dermaplane you. So this is what the dermaplaning tool looks like. And let me just kind of pop off this cap so you can see. This is a 10-blade scalpel. And this does a really great job of removing that dead skin, this peach fuzz. So normally we would be doing it up if I was in my spa. But for today's Mm -hmm. demonstration purposes, we're just going to do it like this. So you want want the blade at a 45-degree angle. And then you're just going to do these little light feather strokes going down to remove that dead skin and the peach fuzz. Is there stuff coming off? Oh my God! (laughs) (laughs) There's so much fuzz! Yeah, you can see there's a lot of dead skin on there too. That's crazy! Wow. Incredible. I'm going to have to do your whole face because then tomorrow you're going to be like, my makeup looks totally different on the right side of my face than the left (laughs) side of my face. All right, let me see if I can. There, yeah, so see. Wow, this is incredible how much stuff comes off. There's a lot of stuff. That's just from that tiny little area you did. Yeah, and now feel how soft your skin feels. It feels super soft. I I mean, super nice. Okay, so are you ready to try this on your own? I'm so ready. So this is your uh, at-home tool. And you just taught me off camera. So you basically put your finger on top of the blade. And I practiced a little bit with the cap on. So I'm taking the cap off for the first time. And I'm going to stretch my skin. I have a mirror right in front of me. So... I'm going to try this. So you want to go on light feather strokes going down, keeping the blade on your skin. And and then you're going to have your hand behind the blade pulling your skin taut. And then as you, yep, perfect. And I feel like, oh my God, I can see the hair. Do you see it? (laughs) Can the camera see it? There's so much fuss coming off on my own. This is incredible. I'm going to try it one more time. So I go... On a 45 degree angle, you said, right? Yeah, you want to be on a 45 degree angle. Um, The plastic white bevel piece sort of allows for that angle Mm -hmm. to happen naturally. And then, yeah, just keep going down your face. It's super easy. Mm -hmm. It really really isn't that hard to do. And you can, um, depending upon what hand you use, you know, basically the main thing is is you really want your hand behind the blade. So you can go up or down or, Mm -hmm. you know, on the side and whatever way is comfortable for you the main thing is is you really want to keep the blade on your skin and doing light feather strokes yeah and then remove it and wipe off all of the gunk and and then resume amazing this has been so much fun i cannot even believe that i finally got to learn how to dermaplane so carrie this feels incredible thank you so much but i also just really want to know really quickly are there any don'ts like other people who shouldn't be doing this procedure yes definitely so Dermaplaning is pretty much great for all skin types and all skin conditions with the exception of acne. So if you have um, active pustular acne, you want to stay away from this treatment. Um, You could potentially cut yourself and spread bacteria around your face. If you have an occasional hormonal breakout, totally fine. Just avoid that area. Mm -hmm. But if you are acneic, we need to treat that skin condition first and then we can start dermaplaning you. Mm -hmm. Um, One of the other great things about dermaplaning that's great is it's so good for pregnant women. Um, A lot of times pregnant women are suffering from dryness and getting off that dead skin and allowing that product to penetrate better will really alleviate a lot of that that concern while you're pregnant. That's so, so interesting. And I actually have so many pregnant friends right now. So you got to get them dermaplaning. I'm sending them, <laughs> sending them your way. Well, this has been so informative. I feel like I've learned so much today. And um, I really can already feel the difference in my skin. And I'm so excited to try it out more and to maybe send some of my celebrity clients to you and maybe get them all ready before a big red carpet event and leave us some comments give us some thumbs up and i will leave all carrie's information in the the description box and we will see you soon thanks for watching Bye. bye